This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store. Visit squarespace.com for a free trial and 10% off when you use the offer code AEMIKEY. Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this flying text that zooms onto the screen. Now, something like this can be a pretty complicated thing to do, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to make it, and it's using shape layers. And there's some really good tips that you're going to learn from this tutorial, so I hope you stick around for the whole thing. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every week, um, two a week now. So if you are wanting to learn more about After Effects, please go check out my channel. So just click on my name right here under the video. It'll take you to my channel, and then you can see all the other videos I have. So let's get started with a brand new composition. So Command N will bring up the new composition or Control N if you're on a, on a PC. So let's call this flying text. And let's just make this three seconds long. Okay, first off, just so it's not black, I'm gonna bring in just a new white background. It doesn't matter, you can have any sort of background. Um, that's not really a part of the tutorial, I'm just showing you the text part. So let's grab the text tool. Let's type up what our text are that we want. I'm going to align it. Here th is the align tools and you can see we can align this layer to the composition and you can center it that way. I can bring it to the top or the bottom, different sides, but I just want to center it. Maybe I'll even come in here and maybe bring these a little bit closer together. And that's looking pretty good. Now here's what we do is we turn this into a shape layer. So if we right click on the text down here in the layer in the uh, timeline, it says here convert or create shapes from text. If I click on that, it's going to create all of that text. Each one is its own shape layer, which is kind of cool. And then it leaves the old text here, but I don't need that, so I can just delete that. So what I want to do is it's kind of like pre-composing, but I want to take all of the contents and put it in its own group. So if you've never messed around with shape layers before, I suggest going to my sweeping circles tutorial and you could just click on the link in the description. I'll have a link to that one. And it really goes through all the power that is in a shape layer. Shape layers have their whole um, world in here. You can do all sorts of things in shape layers. And so if I want to put all these things in a folder, it's called a group, and it's kind of like pre-composing. So I'm going to click here where it says contents, go to add, add a new group, and let's just call this text. And I'm going to select all of those layers and drag it and drop it into that group. And now I can turn that on and off as a whole, and I, I'm doing this because I'm going to duplicate this group later on. Next thing I want to do is I want to be able to change the color of these as a whole as well. And the easiest way to do that is to highlight this text group and then go to Merge Paths. And it's going to merge everything together into one. It's going to give it a stroke and it's going to give it a fill. Now we don't need the stroke unless you want it, but it, it's automatically turned off. But in the fill, it gives it a red color, but I can come in and now I can change this color to whatever I want and it applies it to all of them as a whole. So the next part is we need to create the text flying out in the background. And so how we do that is I want to be able to have the front of the text one color and the, the trail of the text a different color. And that's why I put this all into one group because after I do the animations, I'm going to duplicate this and then I can change colors. So in order to make that trail, let's go to highlight the group, go to add, and let's go down to the repeater. And it's going to start repeating things. But we can change these settings here. So in the repeater settings, let's come down to the transform. The first thing is position is already set to 100. And that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to set that to 0. And what I want to do is I want to take the scale down to 99%. And then take the copies really high. So let's go like 400. 
And then you can start to see it's kind of creating that trail, but it's not flying from up top. And how to do that is now we change the position. So I can move the position up and down, and it creates this kind of this cool arcing look. I can also change the rotation. Now the problem with this is it's going to go really wild. That's just one degree, um, and it's rotating a lot because I've got 400 copies. And so it's rotating quite a bit by the time it gets to the end. So I need to do just a small fraction. So let's try point 0.2. Uh, I like the negative numbers better. So let's go negative point 0.3. That's pretty cool. And let's maybe bring the position up all the way. So that's just negative 2 degrees or 2 pixels. And by the time it goes through all 400 of them, it flies up there. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to make this text actually flying down. But before I do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, as I said at the beginning. What I like about Squarespace is if you've ever tried to create a website before, it can get pretty complicated. And if you want anything that's better than just a simple free blog, you know, they don't give you a lot of options and things like that. And so Squarespace, it's simple and easy. The designs are absolutely beautiful. And everything's just pretty much drag and drop content. Plans start at $8 a month. If you've ever been shopping for web um, hosting, um, that's a pretty good price. And that includes a free domain name for the year. So can't beat that. Best part is the designs are responsive. You know, it's going to work great on a tablet or a cell phone or on your laptop or computer. So head over to Squarespace and check it out. Grab a free trial. You don't even need a credit card to set up a free trial. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code AEMIKEY and you'll get 10% off your first purchase. And plus, you show some support to my channel. So just one more time, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of After Effects Tutorials. So now, back to where we were. We've already got the, the text kind of streaming back there. Now we want it to fly into the screen and off the screen. And really, it's super simple to do that, and that's just with this offset. So as I scroll through this offset, you can see the text is just flying on. That's really kind of a cool look. So I'm going to bring it all the way off, keyframe that, head towards the end of the composition, and now I need to offset in the other direction and bring it all the way forward. And as we play through this, you can see it's flying on and off. So that's pretty cool. Now let's make the front of this a different color. So this is where you're glad that you put all this into its own folder or a group. Otherwise, you'd have to copy and duplicate all of these things individually. So let's take this whole group called text. Let's duplicate that. Let's take this top one, open it up, go into the repeater, bring the copies down to one. Now we can come into the fill and we can change the color. And you can see now the front is a different color. And everything should just match up just fine. Now some variations on this. Say you don't want the text to fly all the way through and you want it to land on the screen right here in the center. Well that's really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this Let's hide this one, and I'm going to change the way this works in order to make it so it lands there. So let's come into text, just the bottom one, which is the one that has all the stuff in the back, the you know the words flying back there, and let's go into the repeater. And right here where the offset, we need it to land on zero, because that zero is where it's right in the middle. And let's then take off this other keyframe. And this is kind of in the way, so let's just hide this group up here so you can see it. So it's flying in, and then it lands there. Now what we also want to do is we want maybe the, the words, the stream of the words to, to not just end, or you know, not just hang out there. So what we can do is then at this point, let's grab the key from, from the copies and move forward and bring that down to 1. Maybe we can even have that start a little sooner. 
Okay, now that we did that, let's do the same thing for this top one. Let's go into the repeater. Offset right here needs to be zero. Let's delete this keyframe over here. We should turn this back on so we can see it. And that's really it. Let's take a look at this all rendered out. It's pretty cool. So that's the tutorial. Very simple when you use shape layers, and it creates a very unique look. So go out there, make some flying text, and you're not just um, limited to, to text. You can do shape layers, you can do stars, you can do all sorts of things. So I want to see what you're doing. If you've got a great video you've, you've done using this technique, go ahead and post it. Just link to it in the comments and so we can all see it. And I want to see the videos you come up with. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.